Hello, myself Girja Vishwanathan, founder of learningfinger.com, have around 20 years of experience and I'm here to meet you all for the work from home session where I'll speak about how to make work from home work for you. See, work from home term is not anything new for anybody, right? It is seems to be a simple term because who the home attached to it but is it as simple we all know about it yes it can be made simple with our efforts discipline and wanting to make a difference right in the world in our lives and in the society again w uh, work from home which is termed as wfh is nothing new for our grandmas are and their grandmas right they were all working from home they used to do their chores go to the fields milk the cows do organic farming as well assist in building houses take charge of the house take care of poultry and so on and so forth there was nothing formal about it but I think given the industrial, after the industrial revolution, things changed. And once you carry your bag and go, only then it was considered as working. God knows how the term came in as, as we know, everybody is working. Anyways, nevertheless, we'll have to go with the term and hence the, again, the term was coined as work from home. Talking about myself, yes, I started working after my engineering as a proper working person as a proper working person going for the going to work actual work uh, i was placed in a software company i was doing well climbing ladders i reached some particular height uh, was in abroad and then the biological clock click ticked in so then it was like again walking on a tight rope as all, all of us know then came my decision of what is to be actually done should i continue this way not devoting much time for my family as well as being called at called in work as like someone who's a mother working and not able to do night outs not able to do that exposure an extra mile so i thought i'll take a break and uh, I, I feel I did a good job taking a break and rejuvenating myself, finding out what my strengths are. And then I decided to do something on my own. I felt a lot more happier I'm working from home. Uh, though, of course, the monetary part was not so much or it was almost coming down because I was doing something on my own. The flexibility was but a boon. I could give enough time to my kids, parents, and people nearby. Uh, travel time was cut, so you know those that time could be utilized for um, my other activities like workouts. Ah, uh, yeah, my health was getting affected because of whatever we used to stick to one particular job, sitting there all the time. So then I was feeling a little good, but it came with a responsibility. I realized we need to have time at a stretch we need to have at least minimum three to four hours to five to six or more for us to work properly streamline our work build our schedules properly as you know when you're at home uh, a number of things come crop up like something which uh, some activity would come suddenly some neighbor would, neighbor would call and even at work when you're going actually to work the such things would happen but then you're actually in front of someone else so he knows what exactly you're doing are you at the dusk all the time are you just loitering around or uh, if in case you're supporting or helping somebody they'll come to know about you what exactly are you doing so i i mean i would take the questions one by one as you uh, as you are seeing it watching it but then i would also like to say that if you have lesser time then accordingly plan accordingly take a job according to what your schedule fits in 
um, when I was, I started and then I had to take a break again for uh, uh, my second kid. And uh, that is when I decided that I'll take it a little slow at this point of time. I'll upgrade my skills. I'll not, you know, take up something which is going to again, ex ex um, again, trouble me and my first kid as well as the new one, uh, which was coming up. So I, we have to plan it accordingly. Um, the stride, you don't have to overdo it. If you kind of overdo it, it is going to fall on you at one point of time and it's going to get difficult. Uh, startups give you the much needed flexibility in such cases. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, other firms have formal environments like uh, I was given, I could have been uh, doing some work from home from formal environment, but it gets a little difficult if you really have a very small baby. Um, Otherwise, if these days companies do give you work from home capabilities, which can be availed of, but communication is very much important is what I would say. Um, you have to be crystal clear of what you want to do. Uh, are you doing some work or, or to do something to keep yourself busy? Is money the forefront for you? Is that in mind that, you know, you have to earn a lot of money or, you know, properly um, then, you know, it comes uh, comes with deadlines and uh, the other caveats, as we understand. With, uh, having worked in the corporate life, most of us have worked, have taken a break for some or the other reason. Um, if you want to just meet people, uh, be social, uh, get along, you know, uh, you have, you've got into this monotonous routine and you want to take a break out of the routine and just help others, give something back to the society that is some NGO which gives tasks to you um, coordinating from home and helping out some people which, who are really in need or you want something to be done or want something to be uh, to uh, to achieve something really you can start something on your own hire people yourself the jobs for her portal also helps you post jobs it also helps in identifying the right kind of work from home job. They have so much categories, so many disciplines, which you can avail of. What I would suggest is that um, if, okay, I'll uh, take up one on question and maybe along with that I'll speak so, so that we can um, club both of it together. Um, yeah, the deed, if if you want to join my company, I am I own um, or I'm the founder of LearningFinger.com. I can um, put in my my email ID uh, or the uh, placements um, HR placements uh, email ID, um, and you can contact me for that. Uh, Josna Naganuri is asking, uh, so I would also want to want your resume and have a chat with you. Um, you can you can speak to me as well um, anytime. Yeah, the other questions which I have seen is uh, something uh, uh, which uh, they are asking about what um, uh, what kind of job opportunities they can get. For example, who has quit a job? As I as I'm explaining, um, you just make a kind of a flow chart or a, a re real clear frame of mind or um, write down what all things you are dependent on, what things are dependent on you so that you can have a kind of a, a clear understanding um, how much time you can devote and you have to be very clear about um, what your about the person is, um, uh, what, what kind of um, job opportunities you need. For example, you you should not take something on a trial basis, right? You cannot say something like, I'll take it for some time uh, and then see. You have to be a little clear on uh, what you want to, want, what you want to do so that the other person has an understanding of, um, the other person has an understanding of um, what what exactly you want. If you say something like you know um, you are um, uh, if you if you say something like you have want some more money, but then um, uh, if um, the other person if you if you're not actually uh, if you don't really want that much of uh, money kind of uh, perspective, then it should be. Um, uh, 
crystal clear that even in future you're not going to have much money and in case you're uh, saying that um, if you're uh, sticking to a, um, a job you have to stick to the job in future as well so um, it, it is it, you have to be very clear um, in case you are saying that i want to want just for experience and make it clear if the priorities change later you might as well uh, tell about the priorities to them a little later uh, so make sure the uh, terms are clear communication is done well and um, uh, that could be a lot of other other things which come in a play uh, come into play for example um, when you are from home it's expected that you know uh, you are taking care of people um, i mean the vacations or um, uh, things like that you have to arrange accordingly if kids are not well you have to um, take care of that so it comes as a flexibility for you uh, because as we know we once we go out of the out for work we are out so out of sight is out of mind that helps you but then you'll not be available when it is critically needed so this kind of help me uh, in terms of critical situations where we need to uh, face it also um, there are there are times when um, for example now uh, i'm uh, kind of uh, 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 because i am at home there are some deliveries which need to be handled etc right now i am not able to take a call of my uh, gas cylinder because i am in this meeting so such challenges would come in which you need to face um, face up front uh, so it comes with both positives as well as negatives so you have to you have to show your passion for work uh, you have to show that uh, this work means you a lot of things uh, like the commitment the ownership um uh, you need to do your best at that moment uh, you have to actually um, um uh, show that the work what you're doing is making sense for it um be be little proactive so is it's like if you are very clear of telling about 2 hours you're going to work or 3 hours you're going to work it has to be proper uh, properly done in that time if you're not able to you clearly explain the schedules that are not going to be there for this and this time there could be some problems um, which could come up uh, later like for example we know all these problems of uh, uh, maid um, uh, not coming in or you know all of a sudden some things would crop up so you kind of uh, uh, need to handle those things which helps you if you are doing this work from home kind of uh, uh, work which gives you a gives you a way of opening up uh, keeping in touch uh, um, with what is there around um, you can look into the portals which is kind of jobs for her so i have this uh, question from nimisha i have 5 years of it experience i have my mba in finance and mis i'm looking for work from home options i do freelance and content writing can i write for learning finger so yeah you can you can do that it's um, it's it will be really good i welcome all of you um, we can uh, take it up you can send me send me your resume um uh, and then we can take it up i can um uh, you can contact me from my, uh, through my website as well you can send in a mail or uh, the uh, the placement uh, email id which i have shared with you um uh, debashree uh, as i'm an english language specialist a freelance for portals i need more opportunities to work with students seeking one to one online coaching so i'm not exactly into coaching um so uh, uh, yeah but english language like what we do is we list down good books videos for kids um that helps um, uh, that helps me uh, actually the the thing uh, it all started for me as my elder daughter is a voracious reader um and uh, talking about my uh, website we list down good books videos for kids uh, and we realized that um, what happens is kids today uh, are spending a lot on screen time i have two kids uh, elder one and a younger one so my elder one is a voracious reader but still um, giving her different books was a challenge i realized other parents also going through the same challenge so th this was a problem statement for me and i thought i'll do something for it i uh, i developed the website 
thinking and uh, started taking inputs from my daughter and the other parents around uh, brainstormed with my uh, husband and other uh, people who are facing the same challenges and i realized we have to do something like you know uh, give them good books otherwise they all start feeling that only harry potter jeronimo sultan are the only books available there are n number of books today that is available in the market which children are not aware of and we all know the school schedule is always towards a portion they don't have much time to devote in such overall holistic development of the kids um this helped my kids a lot uh, we list down good videos as well so that and we put timers so that children are not actually um into the same thing same videos look seeing any random dumb videos which we know is uh, filled in filled with filled in youtube so they actually they uh, we put in only learning videos so that has helped my daughter younger one a lot i have taken inputs from my elder one because she has gone through that phase and the, uh, kids like her and other friends review books for us so it's like first hand reviews from the kids themselves so this i would need people for my uh, for, we also have newsletters so i would be need people who can help technically as well as um build and building the content for the website so yes i can help you in that context and as well as in case i would like to help you for other work from home from my contacts as well in case this particular profile is not matching you um yeah uh, what are the basic terms and conditions laid for complete work from home see uh, you cannot define anything like a basic term from terms or conditions Uh, you have to have a good rapport with the employer um uh, you have to tell them what your requirements are what you're good at and i would suggest you start with something which you have already done um in case you're looking at you know uh, faster completion of your work if something is new then obviously you need to understand that there is going to be a learning curve for you in anything right um so you cannot say that you know uh, if i'm going to give 2 hours for it given my conditions at the house my dependencies are there uh, you have to understand the learning curve also would add up to 2 hours so i have had people with my experience that they come to me and they have uh, say, they say that you know i want to work with you types uh, they have come work they they are new to that new environment because they have lost touch of all these years and then they start learning so that adds up to the time and then uh, when we say that you know the time is uh, might, might be going and learning they don't understand it so if you know if you are expert at something you will probably take less time for it and you will be awarded for that if you are new obviously startups and other uh, are very good for it you learn but you don't consider it to be you know the productive time for you as giving out your uh, basic output for the company the employer is also looking at something for you and in case so there are people who say that initially i don't money is not so so, so important for me okay but then uh, um it, it gets difficult uh, money uh, uh, for uh, uh, for us to understand or employer to understand that later on they uh, change their mind like you know they get some experience and um, they don't communicate very well so communication according to me is very important uh, communication should be very clear with employer uh, as to uh, right now my priorities are this and this i can do so much today or uh, you know this week uh, next week i have some vacations or suddenly there could be problems that uh, there would be a band or a strike and my kid won't go to school and so if she is at home i cannot work or if the daycare is closed for some reason or the school suddenly gives a holiday we all know how schools work sometimes they they also manage their own schedules their own way they are not bound by anybody else so uh, and there could be floods or whatever so Uh, if you if you are looking at something which um which has a definite schedule and deadlines then you have to you have to meet it right but if you if your friend say that uh, see uh, look at look at this i'm i'm going for something wherein i need little of my time and then i i want to learn and i want to 
contribute as well, then that's a different story. So be clear on what you want to actually uh, and be transparent. Uh, there, there's no harm. Actually, there's really no no harm in telling your uh, priorities or uh, being free with the other person. If you have something in mind and you say something else, then it doesn't put a good brand value for you in the future. Um, like. Uh, there are even um, uh, I have uh, experienced even uh, um, freshers or people like that who who just want some experience and then they are okay to part away uh, and that kind of just doesn't give a good impression. You will not recommend that person to somebody else later, right? And um, uh, all of a sudden, I mean, because in, in such uh, work from home, sometimes it's not very formal that you have a contract, as they said. Uh, you just have a good rapport and you ask them work, you pay them uh, on a work work per work basis. So suddenly, if you if you don't clearly tell them that oh, okay, I uh, have some other things coming up or one month I won't be able to work uh, or I'm taking something else upfront, then it kind of helps. If uh, if uh, the transparency is not there, then it kind of um, doesn't work well with the two employer uh, the employer employee relationship i have questions like uh, from divya shankar i was an event manager who took a break for my kids yeah event management um, i have friends whom i can uh, connect you with you can send me a mail they they do some mc kind of uh, uh, things so i'm sure you can do because you can hire people uh, of, of of course work from event management i cannot say that it can be um, directly work from home uh, because um, you will have to you know go and manage the event if you are doing it all by yourself but if you hire people uh, you can do it you can coordinate with them you, ha you should have a main anchor point who will actually be in the field and you be on the back side uh, you fund uh, fund it initially um, yourself and then once the events keep coming in you can you know help um, uh, you can uh, make a money make money for yourself um, and you can hire MCs who actually go because uh, events need uh, MCs or computers or uh, coordinating with a n number of people of course coordination can be done um, I'm planning to do uh, Prachi Chain is asking I'm planning to do a digital marketing course and later work from home uh, how do I ensure regular projects and income see there's nothing um, you can say much about freelancing or work from home in unless you're you're uh, tied up to a company totally uh, with saying that you know this uh, i'm going to be with this company for a long time of course you will have a regular uh, projects coming or uh, activities because digital marketing is very good these days you can do it from home very well um, you if you have experience if you have the right skills you can go about it very well is what I feel. You can apply through uh, job for, Jobs for Her portal, which is very good. Uh, can Divya Shankar is asking, can technical jobs also be done from home? Can you suggest any domain? Yes, technical jobs, uh, depending on what domain you are, um, um, you are looking at, uh, all this coding obviously can be done because the good advantage we are in this period is that there's very good connectivity. Uh, long time back, maybe when we started off 20 years ago, we hardly had a PC at home We and the connectivity was so bad. We used to have those um, uh, BSNL or uh, whatever, those old kind of connectivity. Now, of course, the, uh, the with 4G, 5G and all the things have improved a lot. So technical jobs, I, I would say, is a boon uh, if for people um, uh, because you can do it from home. And with all these meetings, now we are again connecting through technical technology as well, right? It wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Um, the commute time is reduced so much, so drastically reduced that that time of one hour or half an hour, now half an hour has become one hour. Or the, the thing was in maybe 10, 15 years back, it would have taken just 10 minutes, 20 minutes to go to some place. Now it's doubled up almost. And it's not easy to work in the vehicle. I, I cannot do it. <laughs> my, I mean, my back aches or, you know, uh, my um, uh, kind of uh, posture goes for a toss when I do it on the laptop. Um, in fact, I would suggest when you work from home, take a nice table, uh, have some monitor, which is 
which is uh, which is a proper height for you um, because i faced that problem i was working any time uh, like how we used to work when we were youngsters or uh, when we had joined uh, some 10 15 years back when we were in our uh, 20s or uh, maybe even 30s was a little better but then uh, once you start aging up um, you need to have a good posture otherwise uh, your neck um, and your back starts troubling um, at home, you have the flexibility of, you know, walking or, uh, uh, in fact, I would even say that once upon a time, if you have a bed beside your uh, simple one, you can lie down and do something on the phone, which helps your uh, neck muscles a little um, and um, gives you that flexibility, which will not, you will not get um, when you are um, uh, working on the desk in fact people used to call me as a fevicol uh, or uh, sticking to the chair because you want to complete that time in that time of six hours seven hours uh, say one hour is gone for lunch or uh, even talking to people or just going for a tea break or a loo break and stuff or meetings and if you're just sticking to that place it's really bad because uh, you have to complete it in that time. We don't have the flexibility of, you know, just relaxing and going at any time because we feel uh, house is calling us. I mean, our children are waiting for us or uh, we have some other activities which need our attention more. Uh, so that is there in the back of our mind and you do not take a break, you don't walk, you don't um, go for a chai break or, uh, or uh, like how men go for fatting or uh, things like that. So um, I would say that take, an, take advantage of the situation that technological advancements is very good. Any kind of, I think most jobs, except probably the customer facing jobs today, um, which is difficult, which also has improved because of um, a chat bots and uh, stuff like that, which, so you have to upgrade yourself. Uh, what I would say is anybody who is not into technology, again, you have to, think of how you can be better in a technology and technology is nothing new anybody can do it like i know my sister who was not very good in technology but then she does so much of uh, um, things with technology now uh, and she does a, she uh, herself does something um, freelancing and uh, you know uh, doing something from home except for uh, lectures which you have to go which she started taking up once her, her son grew up um yeah, so uh, for any other advice, you can always uh, contact me um, with my um, ID. Uh, I can, I sh have shared my um, uh, placement um, uh, ID and uh, in my website as well, you can uh, also contact support at learningfinger.com, which, um, which in which I can support, which, uh, which I'll put it across also. And um, um, what I feel is anybody, um, uh, see, we have been working for so long and then we feel a kind of lacuna all of a sudden. So it's always good to do something, um, do something for the society, do something for yourself, do something um, which uh, do, don't just think of it as a, uh, as a job, uh, think of it as um, doing something better um uh, better for the society um uh, having some something like which can be a win-win situation for everybody it should be a happy situation it uh, yeah and uh, in and you should also think it as in case of any adversity you can plunge in because you have had all this experience of communicating talking um project management see we all have done home project management we are doing it so now we'll have to look at it as two projects parallelly going on and then you have to fix your Gantt chart such a way that what dependencies are there on you and what are the dependencies on others um, you have on right uh, so you have to make it such a way that it all works for us better uh, for both employer employee and um, Yes, uh, so that everybody is kind of in a good situation. It cannot be like, you know, you are you are in a, a desperate situation. I mean, go, go at one stride at a time. Don't be too desperate about um, um, uh, working. Like, you know, I have to work for just for the namesake of it. And um, because people, people consider me as a homemaker or something like that, 
uh, tag me as that you i know we all feel that we are educated but that education also helps us in what a human good personality we are if we if we have you know so there are so many educated people who are who are uh, who are in jail or you know i mean I, i'm say, i'm just saying that uh, education has to be for improvement uh, so for uh, i mean it it cannot be uh, it can also be for improvement of the society right so i mean they, uh, as we say that in the olden times and world wars there has been holocaust done by educated people right it's it's a negative way we we should all think about it in a positive way that we use our education for our home for society uh, and help others as much as possible it may not be for monetary uh, things all the time um, and it it should help us be a good good uh, human being as well as others be a good and of course uh, one more thing i would like to add is Uh, we should always tell our kids if they are able to understand um what kind of um, uh, work you're doing so that they feel like you are also doing something good you are you're you are accomplishing something good um so that that kind of uh, uh, gives you a space that they understand they also give you a space uh, they do not um, trouble you all the time um uh they uh, yeah of course they would want whatever they want they they will ask uh, but then um they would ask uh, um, they would uh, want to trouble you when they want to trouble you but still when you explain to them that you are doing such and such thing then they do understand uh, there are also questions like i am an ex banker with 12 years experience in retail assets freelancing from home i am an online spoken english uh, trainer um but whatever work i uh, regular ka see regular continuous work as i said if you fix your uh, with if you have a good rapport with the employer the employer is doing well you are able to you know uh, give the uh, output to the employer well so it will go on and i'm sure if he he or she is happy with you and he is not able to do work they'll recommend you for somebody else which uh which generally i tell my freelancers or employers as well uh, that you know uh, even if uh, you feel that this work is not come, uh, or i'm not able to give you a work i'll surely with my contacts help you out as much as possible because i have the kind of faith in you and belief in you so that we have always cases where uh, empl- uh, employers call the old old people back right that is because they they like the kind of rapport you have always worked with even now the older employees would be happy for for, for uh, them to, i mean they'll be happy to take me back because you know the kind of uh, confidence they have given you when you were working so that c- will generally help you yeah again uh, how and what basis we should select work order um uh, as i said there is no rule which we can say you have to understand what kind of um, um what kind of work you can take up uh, you uh, may not have i mean if you go for there are streamlined companies which have work from home not on day one that is the issue with the formal companies they they may not be able to give you work from home day from day one um the startups can give you because um, uh, that helps them um also because you know they already start for cash uh, and then if um, the commuting expenses and all uh, can be bared and the pc laptop and all you have it then it can it just helps them out um, so you can start up with that and then tell them clearly that um, one year down the line maybe i want to have a stable kind of if 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 the startup is not stable if it is stable and it's doing well with you and the rapper said it's good but be clear and um, transparent is what i would uh, like to advise and there is there are other questions like i am a manual tester willing to restart yeah software testing jobs are very good um, um uh, to be done because of the technological advances you have um, the testing interfaces which can be used so once you apply through jobs for her um, or these portals like these you can definitely get um, but you need to have that much time for Uh, without you know trouble coming in between uh, at least uh, but you and you have to clearly say that i can i can test for 2 hours 3 hours 
and um, that also um, tell clearly the contingencies or you know the problems which your software might have and i'll have to uh, actually consider that also because generally i mean i have been a software developer and i've seen that you know when the, when the developer gives the uh, gives it to tester it may not be in a good condition and then the tester faces the brand i'm speaking from both sides and also the tester may not uh, have tested it so well that they have will have to do a repeat testing so all such practical problems will have to you will face and you have to count that in because if you have if you don't have a fixed time schedule or if you have a flexibility of um, doing it at a later hour then the system should be up you need to have support because so testing has those problems because uh, everything will not work uh, at one point of time unless it's a very good software uh, which generally is not um, so you will have those challenges yes but if you if you can manage it you can give it a shot and tell all the uh, uh, things which uh, you have as a criteria of your work and it should work uh yeah uh, i mean uh, uh, these were the some of the questions which i have uh, um taken taken up um, uh, uh, i can take up more questions with you with you guys um, anytime um, uh with uh, if you can contact me through email or my uh, using the mentor profile which i have uh, you can post in those questions in those and i'm really i'll be really glad to help you and um, you can send you send my resume send your resumes as well um i can um, forward it to uh, my team or um, i'll myself uh, uh, myself um, go through them and find out if there is any role which i am also looking at some content uh, writers or i'm looking at um, uh, some technical support people for a newsletters um what are the wfh options in india which uh, yeah, uh, as i said uh, jobs for us is doing a very good job uh, and there are other websites as well um, i think uh, internships if you're looking at inter inter only internships then internships are there um, you can i think this portal uh, you can have options of work from home and you can put in your uh, resume and i'm sure companies uh, will match match it and uh, yeah uh, there are questions like one of my relatives is on a career break she wants to restart a career looking for career options she has a journalism background almost in her 30s uh, yeah um, uh, i think journalism can be done um, uh, from home to some extent uh, uh, but maybe what they can be a senior journalist and you can have some junior interns or somebody who can go in the field because when you say work from home it you cannot go into the field or probably you're looking at both combined then it can you can do it so i obviously you can um, um uh, go and search for such kind of profiles uh, who somebody is looking at um and uh, check it out hi i would like to switch domain from digital marketing to hr um yeah uh, hr opportunities should also be helpful but not to uh, not to or uh, not always because sometimes hr is a people management so it depends on what kind of uh, role you actually um um uh, what kind of role you actually looking out at hr maybe Uh, something which you can be done in isolation you can or um, uh, the advantage for um, uh, work from home is that your employer can be anywhere in india or abroad so that is kind of an advantage which um, you can uh, take a uh, take um, which you can you know, which you can otherwise not take so i have uh, had employees from mumbai i have had employees from delhi so Uh, it doesn't make much of a difference in fact i've never met them sometimes and then they've done a good job for me so all that matters is good job yeah of course when you meet them sometimes a rapo helps but uh, i i know i always have a debate with my husband about this and he says uh, work from home doesn't work all the time but i say no it does work when I mean, men have that 
feeling that only when you go and sit there and see people you work but then if you what i feel is if you are passionate about something you want to achieve something you really do want to work properly i mean do something you can do it from anywhere um it doesn't matter in fact um, my older companies were not so flexible about work from home and it it used to be uh, they they were in the old school of thought you know how indian companies are at times um so i think they have to move forward everyone has to move forward in that thinking uh, hopefully these companies are i mean thanks to jobs for her and other uh, portals like this companies are coming in for such um, uh, jobs uh, i think cisco and you know wipro in fact i attended some conferences in wipro they they are very open to taking in um, um, people today, taking in um, women coming back from work uh, a lot of other companies which have actually helped um which are helping and we know now is the right time to take in um, um companies now is the right time uh, which is helping the companies um, also because of the gender diversity so it's a right kind of uh, time for most of the women to uh, pitch in because even um, even the companies hr have started feeling that uh, women do a very good job and the uh, and the diversity is important so because women are stable they are they are you know kind of uh, uh, they take take activities properly they do it to completion whereas i mean we cannot comment on the others other other people but other um, other uh, gender but then yeah people are finding a difference uh, and uh, recruiting them so yeah uh, i'll take a last five, uh, five minutes of questions and then we can connect uh, maybe um, offline uh, whenever you want you can approach me so i have this question i have i'm a, i'm working full time still would like to explore opportunities for part time um uh, i'm happy that you're doing this but uh, wouldn't be a no work uh, i mean you should think about it of course you must have thought of all all your options um it's really great that um, uh, you uh, you might be a workaholic probably um yeah opportunities are uh, freelancing options are a lot uh, for example um, i don't know what what uh, domain you are in but you can look out for freelancing groups i think is there in uh, job fair as well and uh, you can choose um, part time jobs uh, as an option when you go to the portal and um, that will find you uh, that will help you find jobs which you are looking for um yeah there one or two more questions i'll take and then uh, we'll we'll wind up yeah it was really good talking to talking about this my favorite topic because uh, uh, sometime now i've been doing this and i'm really enjoying it um having this flexibility which um, um probably see i mean i had enjoyed my work in the initial years because i didn't have that uh, time based things um, now because there is a, a time for our work i think i enjoy this better <laughs> um i had i did uh, this one question i did mba and having interest in work from home or online jobs and how to start and get this kind of work um yeah um, because you're an mba you will have uh, um i don't know what kind of uh, interest you have in mba like finance or uh, maybe uh, um, marketing or uh, or hr or whatever uh, there are opportunities like it depends on what experience you have so uh, base just make yourself clear on if you want to continue on what you have already done or something new you want to take up as i said again when you take up something new be be prepared that there is going to be a learning curve but yeah of course that learning curve is going to help you so if we are a clean slate then probably we can advise you of taking what your interests are probably you can keep thinking what you like more are you uh, do you like uh, taking up some kids activities more or do you like something about uh, um, doing some online uh, selling more or um, uh, there are all, there are all these and we kind of things also and there are companies also uh, looking for people with an mba obviously because uh, they need i mean management is 
and experienced people are needed always. Uh, I've seen that freshers who come in are always bubbly and our experience counts a lot because we have settled a little and we have done our, our project management at home, right? So there are so many, I mean, if I, if uh, we cannot sell it so much, but I think we should start selling it saying that you're, you're a good multitasker, you manage so many things. So an MBA, um, uh, with the uh, actual knowledge theory, uh, the, uh, theory, theoretical knowledge will help a little, but uh, because we have practical knowledge, we can kind of uh, do, make more difference in the companies is what I believe in. And that has helped me as well. Uh, I think uh, there are some questions like, um, uh, I'm, I completed MCA and I'm a teacher. I'm interested in part-time job. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Te of course, teaching cannot be a, a part-time job. You have to go and uh, uh, yeah, teaching. If in case you're not saying work from home, then you can obviously go and teach anywhere. But otherwise, there are a lot of opportunities these days. There are a lot of uh, portals like like Learning Finger. There would be other portals as well where um, you really need uh, people who who have um, you know math skills or. Uh, QMath is there, or uh, probably there are there would be um, uh, content writers who are always needed. There are a lot of um, uh, websites which um, uh, which are there who need skills like these because these days uh, moms are so much, so busy. I mean the other actual I mean who are not into this field are so busy that they don't get so much time to actually um, put in the efforts uh, to do something for the kids. So I mean, uh, their interests are a little different and the, uh, these interests can match up to them. That is one of the reasons why I also started it because uh, I'm a, as, as a software um, um, a project manager, which I, wo which I were some years uh, before, um, I actually realized that documentation and sharing learning is very much important. So it's it's more than uh, I started it off as a hobby, but then I built upon it, and I felt that this is going to help others. And think about something which is going to help others; you'll always succeed. Um, monetarily, maybe a little slow; it will take time. Um, but then, at least you have the satisfaction of doing something. You are you actually are giving back something to the society, to the people, to help. And I get. Get get something in return, saying that some uh, some uh, parents saying that this helps me a lot. So it kind of also gives me a kind of satisfaction. Um, greetings on the day. I'm an um, MA in English with experience, 12 years. Uh, yeah, Aparna is asking. So very good uh, communication skills. That's very good. Um, she needs to restart a career and looking for work from options. Yeah, you can send in the um, send in your. Um, uh, resume and uh, we can we can actually go through it and uh, help you out wherever possible. Mm. Bhavna asks uh, greetings. Uh, she's a LND learning and uh, development recruitment professionals with around 15 years of experience. What options can I explore for work from home? Don't have many contacts in companies to be able to get assignments on freelance. I, I understand most of us uh, wouldn't have so much contact because we have lost touch um, we have been busy with other stuff uh, so i think port um, it's a real boon that we have portals like uh, jobs for her we, uh, neha is doing a great job with her team helping out um, people like you and us to connect to each other talk as well as uh, connect for um, getting work as well as giving work so you uh, you need to just um, put in your resume in the right place uh, like jobs for her and others and uh, you can in fact send me a, your resume as well and we can connect yeah okay um i'm signing out now uh, we can uh, take up questions um, in the uh, you can send it to me through to these ids uh, placement at uh, learningfinger.com and uh, support at learningfinger.com um it, it can also um, uh, i'll also give you give you my personal email id in case um, you want to uh, want any suggestions thanks a lot so i'll end this video right now uh, thanks for attending the chat session look forward to um, keeping in touch with uh, many of you and uh, checking out your uh,
profiles etc thank you